difficult, wasn't it, Anne? Because when we first started, I think because le- there was so much learning that had to take place before we got to the stage of even mentioning the documentary, there was lots of learning that had to take place, like just learning about the country and who was part of the EU, and what were the benefits of being in the EU, because they had to have this learning prior to be able to do this documentary. Um, the methodology itself, I think it was quite, it's quite chunky to get yeah. through. But I think now that we've broken it down, I think now we're at a stage where we we really we've made progress and we can see where we started and where wh- what we've worked up to. Process, um, sort of editing process maybe with the, I mean if I showed staff how to how to use iMovie they could do it, but it's about time and mm. things like that. But recording wise, if um, health and social care. I just t- I said red button, yeah. <laughs> red button, done. Totally. <laughs> and um, she used it, so somebody's used it in health and social, and Amy Payson in English has used it as well several times. Yeah. And they they always ask, can we have the flip cameras? Because they're easy gotcha. to get the footage off as well. And then we went to Birmingham. We got off the train and we went to Custard Factory. We, we went to Digby. Yeah. We walked from there back into the boring, but we didn't do it. We ate there, we do we? Yeah. And then from there, we walked to where the library yeah, is. Yeah, the, um, the Flues in the queues. I'm trying to think of the Victoria Square, is it? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah it's Victoria it's Where all the big steps are. Yeah, and gotcha. everybody yeah. sits there, yeah. don't they? By the library. Yeah, it's, um, I think that it's been easier to teach it as well because the marking and assessment of it's been completely different. Um, rather than just reading what they put down in a book and it yeah. gets quite boring. I think from both points of view it's been interesting from the teaching and learning point of view um, and them actually documenting what they've done. The, we've all enjoyed what we've done because mm. we've all done it in a different work method than what we traditionally do. Traditional methods, yeah. yeah. So the ethnographic approach, I think, has been fantastic. I've never done documentaries before, and now that I've done them, I'm thinking that it's something, because there's units that we can do with them, and I think I would probably do more work on ethnographic documentaries, just looking at how the pupils are taken to it. So we could give them any kind of title for a documentary and say, go and explore it and see what they come back with. Um, I think it's really good at the critical reflection. Fantastic because now I started using it with my SEM pupils, as I was saying before, yeah. at Key Stage 4, who I've seen make a huge, just a leap in progression and attainment gotcha. because they can talk about things but they can't yeah. actually write things down. And so it's just proven to me that they've got, got, got the ideas, they can do it, they know it, but they can't write it down. Yeah. Um, I've emailed Fran, um, who's um, head of SEN yeah. pupils, and she's going to look at how they could maybe, if those pupils could maybe use it in other subjects. Gotcha. And because I'm doing my AST folder, I did interviews with the pupils that would use the flip cameras to do critical mm. reflections or evaluations. And they've actually identified where they think they could use them. Okay. So they've said already they can use them in science when they're doing reviewing of an experiment. Mm-hmm. Um, textiles, DT, cooking, they've ju- they're, they're PE, mm-hmm. you can watch themselves after they've done gotcha. something. Yeah. And, and it was amazing that they could actually identify where they could use it rather than me saying mm-hmm. to people. So I'm going to use that.